So we're going to get started. It seems like the audio is working fine. Um, happy Easter, a belated happy Easter. Uh, I had a, I had a, a very uh, good week off, uh, I've been, uh, but it's been really hectic just coming back to the office um, uh, the last few days. Um, had, a, had a few days in Vietnam. It was, it was really nice to just take some time off with the family. Um, a few updates here uh, about events. Uh, so we had um, uh, we joined the um, an event in Taiwan. That was the Sands Garage in Taiwan. That was last week. Um, we had the special edition uh, Vertex S14 in black. If you've seen that, um, overall the S14 has been has been, the, the response has been phenomenal. Um, the casting looks 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 really good in in in, in my eyes, and I think um, the collectors are, also feel that way. Um, so we had the black one for um, SGT, and and it it's it sold really well. Um, the the the, own, the the boss from Vertex you know, from Japan and, and his team also came to the event to do uh, signatures and stuff. So really big thanks to him, and also huge thanks to uh, GL Lab, our partner, our distributor, our reseller in. Uh, Taiwan for um, organizing uh, the booth at the event and also to the organizers. Um, I think we had a very, very successful event. Um, and and um, so hopefully uh, I can also hopefully I can go to the to the one next year. I was planning to go to this one, but um, took some time off. So it didn't didn't make it there. Um, and then on April 21st to 23rd, uh, we'll be also joining um, CLDC in China. This is the Hobby Expo in China in Beijing. So that's in next week. We'll have our cars featured there. Uh, we're also organizing a couple of special editions there. I don't want to give it away yet, um, but because of all the logistics issues and things like that, I just want to make sure the cars actually arrive in Beijing before we uh, we we announce it. So um, we'll. We'll get that announced uh, hopefully next week. And then uh, moving on to a later date in August, August 11th will be Fuel Fest in Japan. I think I I think I did mention this before, but uh, we'll be joining that event with uh, uh, a few uh, special editions uh, also in in Japan there. And then uh, that that event will be in Fuji Speedway in Tokyo in August. So for those who are planning for traveling. Um, you know, hope you guys are planning some, uh, you know, to attend some model car events as well as I think uh, all over the world. The events are, are now starting to 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 get back um, to what it was before. So I'm very excited for, for all these events that are coming up. And then in September, there will be the um, Hong Kong Thai Car Salon um, in Hong Kong. So that one, it's, it's our home event. So uh, definitely, definitely we'll, we'll, we'll put a lot of focus there. So hopefully for those of you in Asia or overseas, uh, if you're thinking of coming to Asia, those are the dates to be here. Um, so hope, hope to see you there. So we have a lot to go through as always. Uh, we have the April releases, which is a huge list. And then we got our two pre-orders and then of course, sneak peeks at the end. So let's dive right into it, um, for the April release, which will be April 20th. This that's next Thursday, one week from now for TWOC members. And then the 21st for the public. So the first car, so we're going to go through the Global 64 list first. The first car will be the AMG F1 W12 e-performance. This is a brand new tooling. The one that we re, uh, released was W11. That was the 2020 model. This is the 2021 model. Um, this particular one is the British Grand Prix in 2021. Is the winner car from Lewis Hamilton. Again, it's a, it's a new tooling. It comes with a winner board. The second one will be the Turkish GP 2021 winner driven by Bottas, Valtteri Bottas. Again, new tooling. It's um, it, it has a winner board as well, and then it comes with the intermediate tire. As you can see, the tire marks, so it's not slicks. It's an intermediate tire. Next up, we have the Pagani Zonda Cinque in Rosso Dubai, which is the red color. And again, for the Sonda Cinque, the 
back bonnet opens up that's you so you can see the engine details in the back it's the only Pagani that has this feature and this again this is the Pagani Zonda Cinque in red next one is a pretty popular one um, in the market at the moment which it, it is a little bit of a surprise for us it, it is a it is something that is quite a, a little bit unique but I think Collectors find it unique, and that's why of the, you know the response has been quite good. This is the Mercedes-Benz SL 500 Koenig Specials in purple. This is the hardtop version. The purple looks pretty stunning. Pretty, I mean, it, it just matches really well with the white body car. Um, you do want a, a funky color on these cars, and and I think this this shows it. Next up is another Zonda Cinque. This one is in purple. And this one is a TWOC mom car. The mom car stands for members only model. Only limited to 888 pieces and only available in our web store for members. Um, as you can recall, we have done the 510 wagon in blue the nine the, uh, the RWB 964 in yellow and this is the third installment again uh, we wanted to we introduced this mom model so that it, you know we we do offer something more exclusive for members not only the member cars but also the members only model throughout the year so um, there will be at least three releases per year maybe four um, so each one each quarter hopefully and then so we were um, and this is the third one and so again it's only limited to 888 pieces next up we move on to road 64 this is the AMG G63 with the off-road roof rack in green So this comes with a, a new sort of new a higher cover because of the of the height of this car. Um, so the box is a, is a slightly slightly bigger just to fit the car, but I think it looks fantastic. Uh, looks like something that you would take um, really to off to the to the off road to the desert even. Um, and I, I love this green color. Next we move on to Hobby sixty four. The first one is the. RWB 964 Ichiban Boshi version with the container. There's an orange RWB container that has the sort of martini colors in it. And then as you can see, the number eight. Um, the, uh, the orange colors matches well with the front and rear bumper of the 964. So hence this is, is an orange. And then you can also see the details of the container there. Next, we have the Mitsubishi Starion Macau Gear Race in 1988. This one is driven by Christian Danner. Um, for those who knows me, the Starion is is one of my all-time favorite cars, um, and I still, you know, can recall the days that I I, I was a little kid um, going to the Macau Gear Race and looking at this car. Stunning uh, rally art livery uh, looks fantastic and, and something that I really wanted to do. So here it is, the Sarian in the rally art livery that raced in our home race in Macau. And it finished in P5. Next up, we have the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth RAC rally in 1989, driven by... Colin McRae. So this is the rally version of the Sierra RS Cosworth. We have done some road racing version and, and these are the rally cars, rally versions. Next we have the AMG GT3 Indianapolis 8 hours 2021. This is the 
Moon Eyes livery. Really happy that we actually we we actually designed this livery for for the race team working with Moon Eyes, and so you know huge thanks to them for for supporting us in this model. Um, looks stunning with the with the with the um, orange and black, the huge T logo in the front bonnet, the, the 99. Uh, I, I really love the, that, that 99 design with all the moon eyes um, inside. The 99 looks like one of those um, NASCAR numbers. Um, we, we wanted to do that for, for the U.S. market. Um, and, uh, and it comes with a booklet. So the booklet uh, has, you know, photos of the race, uh, results of the race in, in there. So it, it does give you a little bit of a story. It, it also comes with a, a you know, quote from from uh, the team managers and things like that. So um, all in all, just something that sort of captured that event uh, is something that we supported, we sponsored, and we so, uh, it sort of uh, serves as a memory piece for us as well. So it come, does come with a booklet. Next up, we have the GR Yaris in the HKS Racing Performer livery. So this is not the ordinary, the, what they call the splash livery for the HKS. Uh, usually that they use that on oil can. This is sort of the modernized version. So we have re previously released the white version and now um, this is the HKS version. Next up, with we have the Hobby 64 Plus, is the Lancia 037 Rally. This is the Rally Costa Brava in 1985. It finished in third place. So this is the Rothmans uh, livery car. Um, the reason Rothmans is not on there is because it is, it is a uh, tobacco um, brand. Uh, but the decals and the decals stickers will be included in the cars so that you can you can put them on uh, on your own. So the back bonnet for the Hobby 64 Plus does open, and as you can see before, the engine details uh, are inside. And then the very last piece of this particular release again. April 20th for TWOC members as well as all the resellers and then the 21st for the public. Um, and then the last one is a collab with Shuko. This is the Porsche 911 Le Mans 1995. The number 50 Martini Racing livery. Again, very classic Porsche 911 that race in Le Mans. So that does it for the April release. And let's move on to the pre-orders. So this particular pre-order, uh, we're sending it out to resellers today. So you can actually start pre-ordering with our resellers starting today. And then again, a two weeks uh, sort of deadline for you to place the pre-order. The first one, so this one is a Global 64 and Hobby 43 um, pre-order release. And then uh, for, for the first one is a completely new tooling, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, the KBGC10. This will be in the silver color. The, the car that you're seeing now uh, that was rotating was the first shot, so it wasn't painted. Uh, so we, we did, do have a, uh, a, a an actual car photo for you to reference, and this will be the silver, the most classic. Again, this 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 is the OG GTR, uh, if you will, and um, again, it, this would be under Global 64, and as a as a brand new tooling, the estimated release date will be in September. Okay, moving on 
to the next one is the Mazda RX-7 FD3S Master Speed A-Spec. This one is in the Silverstone metallic color. So it's a metallic silver, basically. Again, all of these are going to be released or targeted to be released in September 23. Okay, moving on. Pagani Sonda Revolution. This is in the orange color. The Arancio Saint Tropez color in orange. Again, with the supercars, I think the, the, the really sharp colors just look absolutely amazing. And so this is the Sonda Revolution in orange. It just makes the silhouette of the car really stands out. And I think, again, orange, green, yellow, all these colors are, are really outstanding for this type of supercars. Next up, we have the Land Rover Defender 90. This is the three-door version of the, Defend the new Defender. In white metallic, and this is... A special edition with Lamley, Lamley Group. So John is watching. Uh, it does have the different wheel types than the than the silver one that we that we have done pre-ordered uh, previously. It also has the black bonnet in the front with the ninety icon logo, whatever you call it, on it. Um, looks fantastic i i love these wheels by the way this, this this would be my pick if i were to order a defender 90 for sure okay moving on to another version of the f1 this is the w11 amg f1 this is the sakir grand prix in 2020 and as you can recall uh lewis hamilton was out with COVID, and george russell actually stepped in so this is the six, number 63 version, the George Russell version. He actually qualified in P2, but ended up uh, in P9. So he still earned uh, his points. Uh, but uh, this was the only race I think he was uh, sort of uh, subbing for, for Lewis. Okay, moving on to 43 scales. The first one is an AMG GT3 Macau GT Cup 2022 winner. Craft Bamboo Racing driven by Mauro Angle. Uh, we were very, very fortunate to be a part of these next two cars that raced in Macau last year in November. Um, and it was a historic moment, at least for us, uh, to be to be associated or to be on the winner car. And this is the winner car in our home race so this was huge for us for our team for myself um it qualified in p2 but in race one and race two it, it won both races uh, so you see the tarmac logo on the sides it has a a very nice chrome uh finish and also i wanted to point out and shout out to john sabal for um designing this car for us uh, gorgeous design Unfortunately, there are a lot of logos on the car, but it's still it's a it's a fantastic looking um, design that kind of calls back um, to to one of the older designs of the of the circuit board. If you can remember, um, I think it was an, on on a one ninety e. Um, but so you, we we kind of John kind of put on a modern version of it to put on this AMG G three. We were you know very happy to work with Car Bamboo Racing, who was, who has been our long term partner. Um, so thank you, Daryl, for that. And so this is the 143 scale version. We will have a 64 scale version as well, uh, which we'll, we'll likely pre-order next next month. Uh, but again, this is the 43 version targeted for um, September 23 release. Next up is probably my favorite livery in Macau 
of all time just because we are on it. Hello Kitty is on it. We designed this car uh, through a lot of brainstorming sessions with our designers. Um, I have a hand in all of these designs, so I, I'm really happy that it came out really nice. So this is the Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo 2, Macau GT Cup 2022, um, with Uno Racing and driven by our friend Edeli Fong, who is also a Hong Kong driver. Um, I'll let the I'll let the picture speaks for itself. Um, Hello Kitty design. Very happy that Sanrio um, agreed for us to to do this, and uh, we wanted something really colorful, something a little bit retro. So you see the different color patches: the green, the yellow, the red, the blue, and then both sides actually both sides of the car looks different. You have different color combinations, um, and I think and then also the Hello Kitty. Um, uh, the Hello Kitty picture is also different. So everything looks very different in this car. In And then a little bit something of an Easter egg for myself uh, and for, for, for my daughter. Uh, her name is actually underneath the rear wing. So this is something that I kind of made also uh, dedicated to her. The number 72 is something that is also dedicated to to my daughter because she was born on July 27th. And so, um, just a little bit of something that uh, that that is uh, that means a lot to to myself, my daughter, our team, um, and again, huge props to our designer for designing this car, um, yeah, Miguel for for doing this car, and and, and I think it looked out, it, it looks fantastic on on the road as well. So again, this is um, forty three scale to be released in. September it finished the race in P6. Uh, it was very competitive. The race pace was right there, uh, but unfortunately, in race one, it got into an accident. So, anyways, this is the 43 version. The 64 version will be will be coming. Moving on to the next round of pre-orders in April. This will likely be re uh, will be sent out on April 27th. Also a Thursday, so two weeks from now, basically. The first one is a new tooling. is a Road 64 High Ace Wagon Custom in a two-tone, very retro-looking two-tone silver brown. And then you can see sort of like a velvet red brownish uh, interior. Completely brand new tooling. This is the second High Ace that, uh, that we're doing. And it has all the, the front back side arrows on it and the, the, the rear ring. I think it looks fantastic. Um, so this is the Toyota Hiace Wagon Custom. All right, then moving on to Hobby 64. So these these are the Hobby 64, Road 64 round. All, all, um, also targeted for September 23rd. Uh, 23, sorry. Um, <clears throat> next one is the... Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Wagon, the Super Taiku Series 2006. This is the Olin's um, livery, a very iconic livery for this particular car. So this is the Lancer Evolution, Evolution Wagon that raced in 2006 in Japan in the Super Taiku Series. Next up, we have another Japanese car. It's a Toyota Supra Pace car. So you can see the, the extra lights that we have added. Um, the very TRD looking livery, the white and red. So this is the Supra Pace car. The pre-order will start on the 27th in two weeks. Um, and then the estimated release will be in September. Next up, we have a Pendum Master RX-7 FC3S, the drift version. This is a relatively new tooling. We have introduced the white color, and then now this is the drift version.
with the uh, very very sharp looking red rims and also again uh, estimated for September we got two more for you and then the second to last one is a Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 that raced in 24 hours of spa in 2016 This is the 458 Italia GT3, again raced in 2016 in Spa. And then last but not least, we have a Pandem Yaris in the very, very signature Advan uh, livery. We wanted to put the Advan livery on the plastic truck, on a truck basically basically like a transporter truck. Uh, so we have used the truck packaging, the plastic truck packaging for this particular car. I think it looks amazing with the, with the, with the pairing. And uh, again, this is the Pandem Yaris that comes with the plastic truck. And as a reminder, the truck doors can actually open. The car sits inside. The doors can actually also be taken out so that you can see the car completely if you were to put it on a on a display case on a display stand um, or you can actually fit a container and we've done advanced containers before so you can actually fit a container uh, after removing the door you can fit a container um, on the flatbed and it becomes a, a container truck basically with the car sitting inside so this is the last piece of the April 27th pre-order so it does this again we will announce this in two weeks but we just wanted to give you a sneak peek as to what's going to happen in in two weeks all right moving on to the last part of the ig live which is the the the, the really sneak peek the ultra sneak peek um portion of it the first one is a Hobby 64 Plus, as you can recall, we've shown you just now the Hobby 64 Plus. We have done the Lancia 037 as the first car. This is the second uh, Hobby 64 Plus. It is the Ford RS200, one of my all-time favorite cars as well. Um, as they, so you can see, the the back bonnet not only opens, it can actually be taken out. Um, we have added a lot of engine details actually for for this particular model so you will you will see an improvement from the 037 i believe and as you can see the engine details is insane in the back um really mimicking the the, the actual car and then you have the tire sitting in the back um, and then it also has two different uh, rim designs it also have this uh, you know headlights option Just gonna let it spin around for a little bit, and again, it's. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. I, I think once we have the deco samples and and having the uh, engine details all painted and all this other stuff, and I think it will look really stunning. So this is the first sh first shot sample. Again, not really painted. We just put on a on a on a gray coating basically to just show you the shape of the car. The next sneak, sneak peek we have, and it is the last one, is a Global 64. So we have done a few Black Series car, and we're continuing that with the AMG GT Black Series. And as you can see on the roof, there is a option of the camera. And this and the, and for the for the for the F1 fans out there, this is the camera for the, for the safety car for the F1 safety car. Again, this is the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT Black Series. The target release date will be somewhere in Q1. This is this is still in the 3D print sample stage.
and that basically does it for for today's session. Um, I'm just going to go through really quickly um, the comments and questions on on here. Let me just uh, scroll through and see if I can answer a few questions. Any F40s? Yes, there will be more F40s coming. Um, we are planning to do a plain color one, so it won't be a street version, but it will be a racing version, but with a with a with a red color. Alfa Romeo. Uh, I've I've seen a couple of questions on Alfa Romeo. Um, those are planned to be released next month in May, in the May re May release. And we, we do have a couple of um, new colorways uh, coming that we will be probably showing very soon on, on Instagram. So please uh, please do uh, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And we do have a YouTube channel as well that we put the other videos up on YouTube. So if you want to uh, look at this particular live again, you can watch it here and then also on YouTube as well. Um, I think that should be it for now. And uh, again, thank you so much for for joining our session. Um, we'll be we'll be coming back again in in May. We're doing this kind of, kind of once a month kind of thing. And um, thanks so much for for all the support. Uh, each month we have a huge release that is that is coming out next week. So do look out for that. Um, in our web store with our resellers and again really really huge thanks for all the support that you guys have been giving giving to us and we'll continue to 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 push out really good uh, hopefully really good uh, models and so thanks again and we'll see you next month <laughs>